Happy birthday to me. Hello everybody, it's my birthday. If you have not already checked it out, go check out the fundraiser for childhood cancer. I do it every year for my birthday. And this year, my hair is eating my husband. And this year, I'm doing it on- It's not me eating your hair, it's your hair eating me. That's actually true. So this year, the fundraiser is on November 29th at noon on my YouTube channel, my main YouTube channel. On the 28th, I'm doing a Christmas concert and it's $20 minimum donation to watch the Christmas concert, but you can donate as much as you want to. And all that money is going straight into the fundraiser. And then on the fundraiser, it's free. Anyone can watch and join, I'll give away prizes. That's all I want for my birthday is for you guys to donate. Or if you don't have the money to donate, that is totally fine. You can also help by spreading the word about the fundraiser, sharing it with people, or you can call your local hospitals or or local nonprofit organizations that do work for childhood cancer and ask how you can help by donating time or things that you have or what you can do to help. You don't have to have money to help people. So yeah, that's what I want for my birthday. So anyway, um, today we're just hanging out and <laughs> fun seeking a nap. And I think I want In-N-Out because it's my favorite food. So I think we're gonna get In-N-Out for lunch. I saw some presents downstairs that I need to open. So I'm gonna do that. Nothing very exciting. We already celebrated my birthday. We went to a lodge and hung out with some llamas. That was what we did for my birthday. It was really fun. If you haven't seen those videos, go check it out. But today's like a lazy day. Okay, so I have so many sweet, wonderful things. Jojo sent me a cookie decorating kit and a beautiful cake. Look at this. It's like a tall, beautiful, luscious cake. Cory got me this huge big box and it's so pretty and I can't wait to open it. I think it has crafts in it, which I'm really excited. And Eric got me a ton of gifts in the living room, which I'm gonna go open in a little bit, but he got me flowers. He knows I love flowers because I'm a person. <laughs> and he wanted to get me a bouquet of flowers, but we don't go anywhere. We don't go and get in contact with anyone other than our family members and our family members all do the same because we're trying to stay as safe as we can during this pandemic. So we don't go to the store, we get everything delivered. We only go anywhere if it's an emergency, I'm absolutely happy. So he ordered flowers for me. Like he got them at a fancy place, like a beautiful like florist place. He's like, I'm gonna spend a pretty penny on a gorgeous bouquet of flowers for my wife for her birthday. He spent $50 on a bouquet. Ten dollars per flower. That's crazy. Yeah. They're beautiful flowers. They're really pretty, but like this is it compared to my face. Like this is my face. These are the flowers. Five zero dollars. And my dad, my dad got these from the grocery store for fourteen dollars. So I really appreciate him being so sweet and getting these for me, but we both equally are like, wait, what's going on? I was very happy when I saw them. I didn't have anything but a positive, excited reaction, but Eric had a very negative reaction. Like, I'm very confused. Those were really expensive and I'm very, so, and I just asked him, like, how much were they? $50, that's really $10 per flower. They're very pretty though. Yeah, that's a wow. really pretty flower. Oh, yeah. And he said in the photo of the bouquet, it was like this big, lush green. Yeah, it was all the, whatever they call it, green stuff, right? Yeah, like the, all the, okay, Daisy wants to be in the vlog. But I just thought that was, I mean, they're very pretty. I love them very much. What a scam, you got scammed, love. $50? Yeah. But they're cute. <laughs> I like them a lot. You should mention the vase did not come with it. No, this is ours. It's okay, that's, that's like a common theme with this year, 2020. We order everything, and so you never really know what you're gonna get, and sometimes you do not get what you were expecting at all, so. Hi, Moosey. Happy birthday, Moose. We're gonna get some food. So, Eric. Got me all these cute presents and made it look like Christmas in here. And he dressed up uh, the Miranda statue like Elf. And he redid my, if you didn't see my vlog yesterday, he refinished this old hope chest that's been passed down for many generations in my family. And it's very special to me. My great grandma uh, gave it to my grandma, which was like a teenage girl. And then my grandma passed it down to my aunt. My aunt passed it down to me. So it's very special. So he made it all pretty and perfect and nice. So I saw it last night, but now I'm gonna open up my other presents. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you guys the highlights when I'm done. So you don't have to watch me unravel everything. One of the gifts I got is for Flynn to open. So Flynn's gonna open that one. Should we open it? Ready? Yeah. Here. Okay, you gotta rip it. <gasps> What's that? A bulldozer. A bulldozer? That's not a bulldozer. What is that? Excavator, that's right. That's pretty great. Backhoe. A backhoe, yeah. He's eating it, yeah. 
Okay, so I got a lot of cute things. I'm not gonna show you everything, but I got a lot of awesome stuff. I got this like vintage cool card holder because Eric and I love playing the card game Spit. So it's like cool like vintage card. You know, it looks like old cigarette boxes. It's not. Some beautiful Christmas candles. My dad got me this pine cone from the lodge we went to for my birthday. He found it. He said he found it right by the lodge, which I've never seen a pine cone this big in my life. And he sanded down all the tips and he made little ornaments. They're pictures from our trip to the lodge. So there's all these little ornaments. Look how freaking cute. So there's all these little ornaments so I can decorate it. And it looks like a little Christmas tree. I love it. That's amazing, Dad. It's the best present ever. And I got a bunch of like Christmas onesies. I got this cool, I don't know what this thing is called, but like crushes up spices. We can make guacamole in this thing. Trent got me all these cool pans, which is so nice because he knows I love to cook. I got an apron. I got a blanket. Oh, I got a necklace that says Mama. Corey got me a bunch of Christmas craft stuff and a candle. I got a lot of really wonderful stuff, but I'm very excited to turn this into a Christmas tree. It's kind of all I'm thinking about right now, so I need to go do that. But we're gonna paint some plates and bowls because I love a craft. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put on like a Christmas movie and do some crafts. So another thing I got is one of the gifts Eric got me was he looked like on some like Buzzfeed type article of things that you have to get your wife this year. Came in this little bag and it's nose rings. I have never had a nose ring, obviously. The only piercing I have is just a single piercing in my ears. I've never even considered getting a nose ring, but now we're gonna see if I like it. Okay. So, can you even see it? I don't even know if this is where it's supposed to go. Here's the thing, I have a large nose, so it's like there's a lot of surface area, so I'm not quite sure where it's supposed to go. And the reason I've never considered a nose ring is because I don't think they're cute. I do think nose rings and nose studs are very cute. But my nose is probably like my biggest insecurity on my face other than my forehead. So it's like bringing more attention to the location of my, most of like my insecurities. It's like this is the largest part of my face, the most unproportionate part of my face, and the part of my face that has the most blackheads. So please take a closer to Gander. God, I'm filming on Rachel's camera. That's mine. This is mine. <laughs> so I was just filming on Rachel's camera. Now I'm on my camera. This is what it looks like. Do we like? The answer is no, we don't. This is not me. Corey, do you wanna try one on? I have so many. Do you want gold or silver? I think I'm a gold girl. Me too. I actually don't know what I put in. Is this gold? Yeah, I put on the gold. I think I'm I like it. it. I look like a hipster that lives in Silver Lake. Yeah, I like it. Hello, we're painting. Alrighty. What is it gonna be? Mistletoes. Hey We're having a painting party. She's about to go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, hold on. Oh gosh, I need to pay attention. from painting because one of my gifts from Eric was a star to put on the top of the tree. He's gonna walk up this ladder with Flynn. Or my dad always used to pick me up and I would put the angel on the tree growing up. So we have to start the tradition of Mr. Flynn putting the star on the tree. Do you wanna put the star on the tree? You wanna go up, up, up the tree? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Good job, Flynn. You did it! Hey. Wow. Do you like that? Mm, it's a star, yeah. Oh. Go. You wanna go down? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just got the most beautiful flowers in the world other than the flowers that Eric just got for me today for my birthday. From James Charles, he sent me this huge, Beautiful bouquet. I've never seen flowers like this in my life. This is gorgeous. Fully smoked. So you can't even tell them the viewfinder how big this is, but this is freaking massive. They're, yours are prettier, Lovey. Put mine next to them. Okay. I love them. They're the same. He probably spent the same amount. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really, really sweet of James to do. I thought that was so nice. Oh. Also, I want to show you the things we have painted. 
This one is Eric's. Now when you do this like ceramic painting thingy, the colors always come out brighter, more vibrant, darker, whatever than what you paint. So right now you can barely see the trees on it, but I bet when it comes out, it's gonna be like dark greens and really pretty. This is the one that I did and it's Flynn's toes. It says mistletoes. And this is the one that Flynn did. It's a beautiful bowl. My dad and mom and Flynn did this one. Oh, we're doing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. you. Are you ready? Blow it out. Blow it out. Blow it. He's yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Do it again. Okay, should we do it again? He's singing happy birthday. Corey got me a game called Left, Right, Center for my birthday, and so we're gonna play. I've never played it before. We all start with $3, and we roll dice, and we pass around the dollars, depending on what the dice say, and then the winner takes all. So this is a game I think my family's gonna be really into. I'm very excited. is almost over and it was a wonderful day of just hanging out with my family and just chilling at home. It was so lovely. Um, I had a really great day. I just wanted to end off today and talk to you guys about a little something something. So as you guys know, I'm doing this fundraiser this weekend. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more information about why this is so important to me because it's really important and it means a lot to me and I so appreciate everyone who is spreading the word and helping and donating but I also think it's important that you guys understand why I'm so passionate about it. I could talk about this forever and I'm sure I will in this future video so I'm gonna try to talk about it, um, a condensed version of it right now. But basically, one, my grandma passed away from cancer. She had a really long, hard battle with cancer. It ultimately is the thing that took her from us and so I know firsthand how hard it is to lose a family member to cancer. Second, I'm a mom now. <laughs> the thought of going through that as a mother is, the, just the thought of it is excruciatingly painful, so I can't even imagine what that must feel like. So of course I wanna go above and beyond and do anything I can to help families who are going through this. I've met a lot of incredible people over the years who've inspired me and encouraged me to learn more about this and talk about this. Uh, the first person who ever did it was a girl named Camille. I think it might've been five or six years ago. It was a long time ago. Um, at one of my live shows, holding a sign that said I skipped my chemo to be here and so I talked to her and um, heard her story and she was like do you, would you ever consider talking about childhood cancer online to raise awareness and she started giving me some statistics about childhood cancer that I didn't know and it shocked me and so of course I wanted to do anything I could to help so I started talking about it and I did my first fundraiser you know after I met her I started meeting lots of incredible kids who have fought cancer some have beat it some are still fighting it and some are angels now and so um 
Flynn just woke up, good timing. I'll be right back and I'll finish what I was saying. Okay, Flynn needed a cuddle and apparently I did too. So that was actually really nice. And maybe now I won't get as distracted and can get more to the point with you guys right now. What inspired me initially to talk about childhood cancer was, you know, obviously it was close to home because my grandmother passed with cancer hard and then meeting children with it. When Camille told me about the statistics, that really surprised me. So that's what I wanna do with you guys right now is just tell you some statistics. Every day in the United States, States, 43 children from the ages of 0 to 19 are diagnosed with cancer. Every year, an estimated 300,000 kids are diagnosed worldwide. That's 800 new kids per day. Childhood cancer is the leading cause of death in children in America under the age of 19. One in 285 children will be diagnosed with cancer by the time they are 20 years old. Nearly one third of families who have a child with cancer are unable to meet their basic needs because their child is in cancer treatment. Despite all these facts, childhood cancer only receives 4% of the annual budget from the National Cancer Institute. 4% goes to childhood cancer. That's it. So <laughs> they need our help. All of the proceeds from the concert I am doing this Saturday are going to childhood cancer. They're going to the fundraiser and obviously all the fundraiser money is going to kids with cancer. So if you can donate anything, anything helps. Like just literally anything. Like if you get a Starbucks every day, that's like what, four bucks a day? Just don't go to Starbucks for like a couple days and you can donate $10. And you not drinking Starbucks for a couple days could help a family pay for their mortgage um, while their kid is in uh, cancer treatments, it could help pay for the gas to and from the hospital. It could help pay for research, for a new treatment that could save a life. People ask me every year on my birthday or around my birthday, are you gonna do the fundraiser again this year? The answer will always be yes. Even if no one is watching me anymore, I will either be doing a fundraiser or don donating my time at a hospital or um, helping a family with a kid with cancer, trying to raise awareness. I will always and forever fight for kids who are fighting cancer. I'm reminded every single day just walking around my house of why I need to fight for kids with cancer. There is a photo of an incredible girl named Natalie in my living room that is framed who lost her battle to cancer and I see it every single day. There's a photograph of a flower that Kayla took. Um, Kayla is an incredible girl who I met on my birthday three years ago at the Children's Hospital. I sang at her funeral and I I don't want to sing at a kid's funeral. I she shouldn't have had one, you know? And my Sky Strong bracelet is in my bathroom, sitting right on top of a flower. <laughs> so I can see it every single day. Sky was so freaking hilarious and talented and gorgeous and just amazing. I was such a beautiful person. And today I was just scrolling on my TikTok and there is an account that I follow of this amazing mother and her daughter passed away today from cancer. No one should ever have to go through that. I can't imagine. All these kids, the ones who are here fighting with us still, they're still fighting cancer or they beat cancer um, or the ones that we've lost to cancer, they all deserve a voice. They all deserve their story to be told and they all deserve as much funding as possible to save them and um, as many people rallying together to help spread awareness and um, just trying to help them in any way that we can. So please donate if you can, please spread the word if you can, or even just get involved in any way that you can in your own communities. It's really important and uh, especially a year like this year, it's important to like reach out and help people who need help. Anyway, I didn't mean to get all emotional tonight. I thought I would be able to just give you statistics. <laughs> <laughs> like move on but it's really hard to talk about this stuff and not get emotional because it's an emotional thing and it's yeah I don't I don't know how to talk about it without feeling lots of things <laughs> so let's show these kids how awesome the internet can be because the internet can be really nasty but I want to show that the internet can be full of really really great things too and I'm not talking about me please nobody twist my words I'm not saying that I'm we all know that I'm a mess I'm talking about you guys like let's show that the internet can be a community of really incredible people anything uh, helps these kids so um, thank you so much for listening to my emotional rant I'm gonna go to bed but I love you guys and thanks for wishing me happy birthday to everyone who did I had a wonderful birthday and um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow.